Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from sortofinteresting.com and today you are joining me, as you can probably already tell, on an absolutely beautiful boat trip. This is literally going to be less than 10 minutes of actual forward momentum and we're just going to leave Ellesmere here and this beautiful little stretch to Ellesmere Tunnel and then go round the corner and moor up pretty much as soon as we can see Blakemere. And as you'll see as this video um, continues, on a day like this and in a beautiful place like this, there's very few things that I can really think of that I'd rather be doing than spending time out tootling along the canals in this sort of environment. Now, if you're watching this video, that means that by this point, I will no longer be living on Narrowboat Tilly. Perhaps she'll have been sold, perhaps not. Who knows? Check out my other videos for that update. Um, and really, I suppose I just wanted to share this video and do a little commentary video as it'll be one of the very last opportunities that I get to do this while still owning and living on board Narrowboat Tilly. Now, um, I think that one of the things that's really got to be said about this particular trip is that it's the absolute sort of classic Blakemere effect in my um, well, in my view at least. That Blakemere is just such a perfect, beautiful little location. And you literally, as you'll see, we'll moor up a matter of maybe, I don't know, 15, 20 feet away from the actual water of Blakemere itself. So opening the curtains from the bedroom, the kitchen sink, looking at literally being able to stand in the kitchen doing the washing up, looking over Blakemere, just beautiful lake edged all with trees. You could be anywhere in the world. I often think that places that have got like mirrors and lakes and locks and things like that always have a little bit of a sort of, I don't know, it's how I imagine Canada would be. It's that sort of feeling that I get at least. And again, the real Blakemere effect is that very often I have found the vast majority of the times that I've passed Blakemere I've decided to moor up there for just one or two nights and sometimes I'll have been intending to go a lot further other times I'll have intended to just get say from down maybe Wixall up here to Ellesmere to get a few supplies on board but then in the end I'm like nah you know what let's just moor up here for a night because Blakemere like I say is just it's too beautiful a place to pass by and just as we pass this boat here, for privacy's sake, I'm just zooming the camera in so that we don't get a good close-up of random strangers on a boat. Um, again, you can see that even passing moored boats here and passing another boat heading towards us, there's plenty of room, nice wide canal. And um, that doesn't unfortunately mean that there aren't some collisions down this stretch every now and then. Although I'm lucky, I'm, well, I am lucky, but I'm also very happy to say at this point that I still, and I don't want to tempt fate here, so you'll hear me touch wood now. Um, I have never actually hit another boat. I've been hit by many boats on board Tilly. I've, uh, well, basically just when I'm moored up in places like this, I would say, around Ellesmere, where it gets a little bit busier, and then in the certain other areas where it's less sort of, it's less expected that you might hit a moored up boat. But again, we'll deal with that, no harm done, and all's well that ends well, as I say. But I think that, I'm not sure what my point was going to be then, <laughs> I completely lost myself there. I think really, if we just go back to actually looking and taking in the environment that we're travelling through, then you'll really gather everything that you need to know as to why I've absolutely loved boat life over these last few years. And as I've no doubt said in many, many videos by the time this one gets online and published, um, I've got absolutely no issues with boat life and no issues with getting another boat and doing it forever, really. It's just, it's such a beautiful I mean, just look at this. This is literally just what we're doing on a random whim on a... I'm not sure if this was a Wednesday morning. Uh, again, the day doesn't really have any importance, does it? It's the fact that it's like you can just wake up be like, oh, you know what? I really want to move on a bit, but I can't possibly not stop at Blakemere, especially, like I say, in the run-up to moving off Narrowboat Tilly for it to go into a marina for sale. It's like... How could you possibly not take these last few moments to moor up and travel in these sorts of areas? And you'll see as we get to the tunnel here, 
I don't know, I feel like when we hit the tunnel, we're going to be travelling extremely fast, but I think that might just be an effect of, well, firstly, the fact that the water will be pushing us through the tunnel, um, so that does give us that extra sort of boost, but I think yeah, it's just something about the lighting, and I don't know if it's the close proximity of all of the surroundings of the tunnel around the camera that make it appear like we're moving a lot faster than when obviously you're out in the open canal and you have sort of reference for how fast you're moving and the objects around aren't anywhere near as close to the boat but I don't know perhaps not actually looking at it now now that it's so dark in this um, video clip I think that it actually does look relatively peaceful so ignore anything I just said um, but again there's just as I say so many times it's just simple stuff like this to wake up and go ah yeah let's go boating or to sometimes wake up and think oh you know well actually I don't think I want to go boating today and just spend the day milling around in whatever location you happen to be in and when I think of all the videos I've recorded and all of the books I've written and the thousands of words that I will probably never release to the public it's like it's all in places like this like the vast majority of it has been done in this sort of just unbelievable as I always say it's a Lord of the Rings style environment I suppose I should make sure that I clarify that's the good parts of Middle Earth that I'm referring to um, but yeah as you're about to see we're gonna go around this one last corner here and Lake Mere is just over the other side of where that corner is like directly ahead of us and it's the sort of thing that if you consider this environment and that little straight stretch up to the tunnel itself like that's all oh yeah lovely countryside and we were literally setting off from right next door to a monastery so where i was moored up at the start of this video you literally heard the little bells going in the monastery every now and then and it's the sort of thing that is so sort of old-fashioned and stereotypical of like the english countryside in many respects that it's almost unbelievable to think that it still exists in the modern age where I can put a phone on a tripod and film this and share it with you all. Now you can see here as the light and the colour seems to get a bit faded here because it's just such a beautiful sunny day the camera can't cope with the change in the lighting conditions as obviously the trees diminish now as we see the first glimmer of Blake near there right on that corner path and that to me is like a sign of just how perfect a day it was when the camera can't cope with the beautiful sunshine which is something that we've definitely been in desperate need of seeing more of recently i think really the ultimate thing that you can take away from a little video like this like say a 10 minute boat trip just oh yeah let's move up let's just go and spend a day or two up at blakemere and see what happens and see how i feel and Oh, it just make myself pretty sad really to be honest to be walking away from this for at least the summer months and goodness knows how long it'll be till I have another boat. I mean if my life changes and all sorts of different things happen then I'm sure I will come back to the canals with even just a little river cruiser if that's what it takes to get back out to enjoy this sort of place. Um, fetch me sleeping bag and all will be well I'm sure but as we say you can see Blakemere just off there to the left hand side here and this will just this sort of canal sweeping around the edge of Blakemere carries on for hundreds and hundreds of meters around the corner and you can see like at this stretch there's no boats in sight I think there might be one just come into sight on the very very distance around these corners but really you can be at a point like this in the evenings and as it gets dark all the stars come out because there's such a little light pollution it gets so quiet because there's just nobody and nothing around apart from a few random signs of nature and you can literally be anywhere in the world and like I say to be able to walk over onto literally to stand right on the shore or the bank whatever you want to call it of Blakemere with the stars overhead, nothing but the sounds of nature, maybe the smell of the fire in the air, these stereotypical things that beyond any doubt and beyond my belief, they still exist in the modern world and you can go out and experience it if you so choose. So that's been a very romantic, quite sad video I suppose really. Thank you so much for tuning in. There I am. Feel free to check out my other videos for hundreds of boat life videos or read my short Kindle books about boat life. 
and feel free to add me and find me on Facebook, the Facebook page, all sorts of stuff. Check the links in the description and you'll see loads more boat things and things from the great outdoors in general. Till the next time though, keep it boat worthy, have a fantastic day and of course, farewell.